It goes to and fro the city's youth. Oh, how nice it is of you. The very picture of youth to break the monotony of an elder's day, wild away on this hardwood bench. Pray, let me be forward with you, O oh, sapling rose, O oh, leaf of spring, for my weary mind is troubled and would highly prize thy gentle-handed assistance, thy, thy kind ministrations. You would, you, you would listen to my grievances, guide me towards untroubled realms. Oh, you are truly a wonder, oh, budding flower of the morn. Yet, th that which I would tell you is of a rather private nature. So let us escape both the chill and the eye of public scrutiny. Hot spiced wine and a snug little room awaits us on the King Crab's first floor. Let us go there so that we can warm our bones, yet make shiver our hearts with a tale of loss and sorrow. By the needles of the million breeder, they'll end it all, end it all in blood! Ah, <laughs> you have come, yes, <laughs> that is most satisfactory. Be gone, oh, brittle mask of age. Hear me now repeat the words of Brittle Tooth, the child snatcher of Carador. Come, play with me, for I'm hungry. Come, play, play, play! The game, yes! A game of blood and brutality, of death and dexterity. <laughs> Fun as herring the horror harlequin. But, like the serpentine stalker, this is before the stab. Hush now, darkness, darling. Hush, hush, and listen to my tale. The elves of Gandavon, they lived in peace, oh yes. But one night, when the moon had hid her face, the orcs of the tribe of Kazuldagar beset our city. They cooked and ate and burned every last one of us. The light of dawn never saw an elf of Gandavum no more. All undone, every last one of us. Except for me, the midnight rambler, away from the city. I was very old back then already, though indeed I whisper of many years hence. But death shall not find me. Oh no, not until every beast of Kazaldegar has been bled. I may be frail, a withered grey, but the wealth of kings is mine. Countless assassins have ministered to the vengeance that is my want, and now is almost over. By Kala, Lady of the Last Gaze, I swear it is almost done. Only the very last one of the Kazal de Gaz still eludes me. The crowning kill that would seal its fate and mine alike. I have tracked her down by the curse of the spine spear I have. She does not know her ill-shapen son is setting fast. Color the dusk red. O oh, sword of youth, bloody the day with the bramble sap that runs through the veins of Victoria. Bring me the amulet that clings to her flesh, soon to fade. <laughs> and yours shall be the bounty of vindication. Mine shall be its sanguine satisfaction after long, long last. Yes, Victoria. She is the one whose heart must be held in hand, the heart around which the fingers of that hand must clench and tighten until its choking flesh bulges with blood and its beat slowly breaks. The orcs of Gazultaka, they knew my name 
Oh, yes. By the bite of the roving rattler, they knew my design. And so they sought to save their last. An infant. She who was to be queen. To no avail. Oh, no. Years, how many I know not. Years I searched. And now she has been found. Her name is that of a woman, her employment that of a civilized being. But by the fork of Barbara Maneater, she is nothing but an orc, a cyst of nature, one of a misbegotten litter dragged into life from the tumored womb of a filthy, coarse-haired beast that was humped like a dog in the darkness of a stinking hollow. Victoria, librarian. <laughs> Daughter! <laughs> Adopted child of Cecil, mayor of Sicile. There is bloodlust in you. I can feel it. Let it out. Set it free. Undo the last of the Kazaldagar. By the breasts of Sishara, goat sucker, give me my revenge! That was quite the radical change we witnessed. I never would have thought that the benign old man we met outside would turn out to be a vengeance-driven aficionado of assassins. By the fire. Indeed. Victoria probably doesn't even know about her past, and yet she's on a, let's call him eccentrics, hit list. Are you Victoria? Someone wants to see Victoria dead? That cherub of the book? That seraph of the library? Outrageous! Hear you me. You must stop that dog by any means necessary. As mayor of Sicile, you have my permission to take drastic measures if need be. Kira Lizor! Oh, do pardon my language, my friend. But that is quite the startling revelation. So much sadness, so much anguish. Eglindir's tale is heartrending, though it seems that in the pursuit of retribution, he has himself become as great a ghoul as those that wronged him. Does he not see that I am now the one who is to be wronged? Why, oh why must he make me, of all gentle-minded and life-loving creatures, why must he make me the target of his imperishable hate? Whom have I ever harmed? I live for books, not brutality. So, let us approach the situation with reason and ask ourselves, where do we go from here? Though, first let me say this. From my heart, I thank you for warning me. I thank you and I trust you. So pray, let me pose the question. What do you advise we should do? Leg Fizoda! Yes, a capital notion. Let him be brought before the law for his schemes. I am an innocent, and Eglindir would see me dead. That is a grave offense, is it not? It would probably be better if you rather than I informed Captain Aureus, though. He bears little goodwill toward me ever since my more savage brethren have been marauding the beaches and killing his legionnaires. Ah, the Source Hunter. Oh, joyous hour. Whom would you have the Legion arrest? The Elf. What in the name of Ahu's arse should I arrest him for? It's true. He is a dangerous lunatic and needs to be incarcerated. So he wants you to kill that savage the mayor calls his daughter, does he? Hardly seems a crime to do so. But I guess I cannot allow assassinations to take place. I won't arrest him unless I have some actual evidence, though. Or did you think I'd simply take your word for fact? <laughs> As I suspected. Go stalking in the night. By the needles of the million bleeder, they'll end it all. End it all in blood.
by the filed teeth of Suruma Sword Shredder. The end is n You! Again! Whom would you have the lead? So, he wants you to kill that savage the mayor calls his daughter, does he? Hardly seems a crime to do so. But I guess I cannot allow assassinations to take place. I won't arrest him unless I have some actual evidence, though. Or did you think I'd simply take your word for fact? <laughs> so, you've found proof, have you? You have established this elf has been responsible for the death of many an orc and would like to be responsible for another. I'd give him a medal for his diligence, but apparently source hunters protect the green skins that blight our lands. So be it. Eglandair will be arrested, and you can pride yourself on the travesty of justice that you have brought about. Now, I pulled her off you before to do any Shut real death. You, Sir Elf with unpronounceable name. You are charged with the intention to kill Victoria, daughter of Cyseal's mayor. In the name of Captain Arius, you are hereby under arrest. I, uh, I, I don't understand you. I mean, oh, young, able-bodied legionnaire. I'm, I'm but a frail old man with, with a cough in his lungs and pain in his bones. What harm could I have done? Oh, uh, I don't rightly know, sir. I, uh, I'm afraid I have my orders and I must obey. Please follow me. I guess I must. I, I guess I must. Uh, oh, dear, dear me, don't walk too fast now, or my back will fail me. I haven't your youth, my boy. Old as the oaks, I am. Dear, oh dear, what is happening to me? Jageta, friend. He has been knocked away. Oh, Diljazima's Estinek. You have saved me. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. It is a terror to know someone prays for your demise, but you have undone it. The sun that is your chivalry has dissolved the dew that was Eglandir's hate. May the gods bless your heart and shield your soul from harm. Kajdinor. The brief history of sorcery still hasn't been returned. Teleron will have to pay yet another fine. 